Welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and I'm here with my buddy, Todd Copeland. Todd and I go way back. We uh, drove out last night from Salt Lake City to the Bonneville Salt Flats. Yes. And uh, you're looking at it right here. It's uh, 45 square miles of nothing but hard, <laughs> hard salt. We were hoping to be able to uh, drive out there today and uh, give the tundra kind of a uh, uh, a test drive, see how, uh, how fast we could get that thing up there on the on the salt flats. But uh, unfortunately, as you can see, there's all this water on the salt, and you can't drive on the salt flats when it's wet. No. So uh, we're forced to just sit here, take some footage, show you the Bonneville salt flats. Funny fact, it's one of the seven places on Earth where you can reportedly see the curvature of the Earth with your naked eye. Um, but we're a camp nearby. Uh, we'll show you around camp. We'll show you the salt flats and. Uh, Let's uh, go take a look. Huh? Sounds good. All right. The Bonneville Salt Flats are one of the Earth's most unique landforms. Located 120 miles west of Salt Lake City in Tooele County, the Salt Flats are about 5 miles wide and 12 miles long. They are comprised mostly of sodium chloride, or table salt. Like the Great Salt Lake, the Salt Flats are a remnant of ancient Ice Age Lake Bonneville, which covered over one-third of Utah from about 30,000 to 10,000 years ago. When Lake Bonneville was at its highest level approximately 17,000 years ago, the water was more than a thousand feet deep over the Bonneville salt flats. As Lake Bonneville receded, evaporation left large concentrations of dissolved minerals behind. The salt flats are comprised of approximately 90% salt. During the winter months, shallow groundwater flows in from the surrounding watershed, picks up dissolved minerals along the way, and percolates upward to the surface of the salt flats. Then, when temperatures rise in late spring and summer, the salty water rapidly evaporates in the heat and minerals are left behind to form new salt crust. The stratified layers that form the salt flats are almost five feet thick near the center and only an inch or two at the outer edges, accounting for about 147 million tons or 99 million cubic yards of salt. We camped in a wonderfully secluded boondocking spot along the Silver Island Mountains National Backcountry Byway. The BOM doesn't let you camp right on the salt flats, but we were immediately adjacent to them, just to the west, at the base of the Silver Island Mountains. Everyone got a great peaceful night's sleep, including the dogs, so in the morning we headed out to explore. If you wander just a few miles into town, you can gamble in the casinos of Wendover. But we'd rather gamble on nature, so we decided to explore the Silver Island Mountains immediately behind where we were camped. With their sweeping vistas across the Great Basin Ranges to the west, and the broad expanse of the salt flats to the east.
Good. Well, thanks for joining us uh, on, on this episode of Grand Adventure. We're camped. You can't see it, but we're up against those mountains back there. Uh, we're going to go back and break camp and head home. So uh, uh, make sure that you subscribe right here on the screen or down below in the description. So that way you can come along on all of our Grand Adventures. And just remember, until next time, life is nothing but a Grand Adventure. See you soon. <laughs>